I'll start off with a couple of questions. Would you agree that if someone compliments you, you feel more motivated? Yeah? Okay. Would you agree that if someone compliments you, you feel a closer attachment to that person? Yeah? Okay. Let's flip it. Would you agree that if you compliment someone, they're likely to feel more motivated? Yeah? Second question. Would you agree that if you compliment someone, they're likely to feel a better association and attachment to you? Yeah? All right. So, the first micro goal, we'll take that question and we will adopt it as a micro goal. And the micro goal is that you understand the power of the compliment. The micro goal is that when I get back to work on, let's say it's Monday or Tuesday, one of my micro goal is I will walk into work and I will compliment one colleague. The idea is that if I compliment one my one employee, and I've set it as a micro goal. I will go into the store, I'll compliment Jose or Jeff on doing a, a good job and having merchandised the end well. What happens is that when I'm complimenting Jose or Jeff, because I've set it as a micro goal, I'm going to hear myself saying, hey, I've achieved my micro goal, and I feel slightly better about myself. But how do you think Jose or Jeff is going to feel? They're going, to feel good, they're going to feel good, way better about themselves as well. A simple daily micro goal to compliment one employee each day. You can go further if you wish, but let's start with the one. It will make a real difference. Every one of you here can do it. Now, the idea of why I want to reference these as micro goals, it goes back to a concept or a phrase from an English author by the name of Anthony Trollope. And Anthony Trollope, who's a 19th century author, he said that a small daily task if truly done daily, will beat the labors of a spasmodic Hercules. A small daily task, if truly done daily, will beat the labors of a spasmodic Hercules. And the idea behind this five micro goals, chaps, is that if you implement the five micro goals, they're small daily goals, but they can make a huge difference to your environment. And some of you are probably wondering, why does he keep referring to us as chaps? Yes, you see, you're wondering, aren't you? Right. Now, chaps is a kind of an Irish-English phrase that relates to, refers to colleagues or friends. Tends to be more male-orientated, but I suppose in this gender-neutral society we're in, I'm going to actually use it to reference to you here now as chaps. But the main reason why I'm referencing it is that the five micro-goals I'm going to provide you with actually spell out the acronym CHAPS. That's right. Okay, so the first micro goal is compliment. And everyone here in this room can send themselves a micro goal that will be implemented by when they compliment someone. Now, the logic behind putting some micro goals is that you probably do know that we've got neurotransmitters in our brains, neurochemicals, and uh, one of them is dopamine. And dopamine is known as the feel good chemical, as you all well know. And when something good happens, the dopamine kicks in, you feel better about yourself. The logic of treating these as goals is that if you set yourself a micro goal that I will compliment one person when I go back to work, when you actually hear yourself complimenting that one person, you're going to hear them yourself saying, hey, I achieved my micro goal, you're going to feel better about yourself. But what about the person you've complimented? How do you think they're going to feel? Positive, upbeat, happy? and more prepared to work with you. Everyone here in this room can set themselves a small micro goal and implement it to compliment at least one colleague. Now, some of, sometimes I get comments like, well, Connor, what happens if you can't compliment, find someone at work to compliment? I say, maybe you shouldn't be in that place. <laughs> more pointedly, I'd say maybe it isn't the workforce is the problem. It might be you. But the, what I also do believe, though, is that everyone here in this room can find some reason to compliment someone. I mean, you could come up with something like, wow, your hair doesn't look as bad as it did yesterday. <laughs> that kind of thing will work. But everyone here, though, can work on the compliment acronym. So number one in CHAPS is compliment. I will compliment one person when I get into work. Now, I'm going to put a question to you. I'm going to give you a 15-second exercise to think about. If you buy into the concept of the power of a compliment, yeah? Okay, all right. Think of one person 
When you go back to the workplace, to the hospital, to the facility, to the, to the ward, think of one person that you will compliment. You got it? Okay, all right. Now, I'm going to ask you, that one person that you will compliment, is that someone that you get on well with, that you like, and you already have a good work relationship with? For this to be even more effective is think of the person that you don't necessarily get on that well with. <laughs> right? Think of the person that you don't necessarily have a good relationship with. But think of the impact it could have if you actually get into the habit of complimenting the people that are not necessarily your best co-workers. It works. Don't just fall into the trap of complimenting the person that you like. Chaps, first micro goal is compliment. The second micro goal is H for here.